Hello everyone. First I'm going to prime her skin with this Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. This is a little trick I like to do before I apply my foundation. I like to spritz this spray all throughout my makeup process and I just find that it helps. This is going to be a full coverage tutorial because she's actually sleeping in her makeup, which I don't want to talk about. We really need this to last. So I'm going to go in with several primers. I then apply this mattifying primer, which is really going to help suck up any oils so that her skin won't appear oily or greasy. And then I go in with the Hourglass Veil. I find that this primer is very silky and it helps foundation glide on more smoothly. It helps the skin appear a little smoother and I think it does a really good job when applied before foundation and just kind of fills in some wrinkles too. It's so silky. Next I go in with her own foundation. It's the YSL foundation she already had so I know it matches her shade even though she has a spray tan. Still a pretty good match and I apply it with the Beauty Blender. I think the Beauty Blender is great if you want to layer foundations. I apply several layers of this to build up coverage. That way it's not going to be cakey when I layer it. It's not going to apply too much. It really helps push the product in her skin which I really need the foundation to melt into her skin and bind with her skin because again she's sleeping in her foundation she needs this to last for more than 24 hours so I really need the foundation and her skin to just melt together as a one and also I sprayed the beauty blender well first I ran it under running water then I sprayed it with the makeup setting spray and I find that that helps the foundation and the concealer which is my next step to bind together and last a little longer and I'm using the morphe concealer I find that it's pretty long lasting and I always apply some on the forehead and then down the bridge of the nose and onto the chin because those are places where light naturally falls on your face so it's going to bring light to her face which is going to add dimension and help highlight those areas and then I apply a cream blush to her cheeks. I find that the more cream products I go in with really helps the powder products to last longer and stay on longer. I just find when I need my makeup to really last, the more layers I apply, the longer my products are going to stay and the less they wear away. So the cream blush is also going to add a little hydration because I think it's good to go in with more cream products than powder products. It's just going to prevent the blush from wearing away because blush is the first to wear away. Now I'm setting all the cream products with the makeup setting powder. This is a loose setting powder. I find that it melts into the skin better and doesn't dry up your skin as much as a pressed powder can do. First I pat the powder to make sure it's setting any wetness or any stickiness. I just find that my foundation takes a while to dry sometimes. So by patting it, you're going to press it into your skin and set it. And then you can swirl around in circular motions and, and making sure you're distributing the product all over your face. A setting powder is gonna really help smooth out your skin so that the bronzer will apply more smoothly and won't apply patchy. Now moving on to the bronzer palette. First I highlight under her eyes. I apply the lightest shade in this palette and then I apply a cool toned bronzer to warm up her skin. I concentrate this in the perimeter of her face because that's where the shadows naturally fall on your face. And then I applied some blush to freshen up her look. I think blush is one of the prettiest makeup products you can apply. It. I think it's where your makeup truly comes alive and it just freshens your face and helps you look refreshed. And then I applied a little of her Laura Mercier highlighter to the top of her cheekbones. I didn't bring it too far forward because we don't want to magnify any pores. We want it to look natural. And then I sprayed the makeup setting spray one more time so that all the powder products will blend in with the cream products and just give her an overall airbrush look. Now I'm filling in her brows. I'm using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. It's a great little tool for filling in hairs and sparse areas and defining your brows. And I really take my time going back and forth between the two eyebrows to make sure that they're even, well, as even as I can be. And then a great little trick is taking any eyeshadow brush really I'm just using a flat eyeshadow brush and some concealer and framing the eyebrows this is a great trick to clean up the brows and to help them look a little more lifted and prominent the concealer is a great lifting trick and just to touch them up honestly now moving on to the eyes I used the full alert eyeshadow palette by Tarte and I already primed her eyelids with a concealer I think it's important to prime it that prevents creasing and just prevents the eyeshadows from wearing away it will help them last longer so I always set the primer with the whitest shade in the palette and I typically like it a little more creamy not stark white and that will dry up the primer so that the following shadows will glide on more smoothly and won't be patchy. Same concept with setting your foundation and concealer before you go in with powder products. Next I go in with the warm terracotta brown shade and I concentrate that on the outer part of her eyelid. I first pat the color down and then I blend it out in circular motions. That's gonna blur it out and prevent any lines so that it looks more smoky and it helps ombre all the following colors together. So then I go in with an even darker brown 
Same concept. I first pat it in the outer part of her eye, rounding it out a little. Then I swirl my brush. I go in tiny circular and backwards circular motions to blur out the color. Now I'm going back in with that cream colored eyeshadow and I'm taking a smaller flat brush and I'm applying it onto the center of her lid. And then I go in with the pink shimmer shade and apply that on top. I find that applying the cream shadow first helps enhance the glitter and just helps it look a little more pigmented and stand out a little better. And I like applying the glitter and the cream colored onto her eyelid because I find that applying light in the center part of your lid helps the eyes look a little larger rather than applying a dark shadow there. I save the dark shadows for the outer part of the eye to help the eye look bigger and more open. Open. Now moving on to eyeliner. I first apply a cream eyeliner. This is by Flower Beauty. I got it from Walmart and I love how creamy it is. It blends out so beautifully with the brush. I'm just messily applying this. You can see I'm not trying to be perfect with this at all. I'm just messily getting it on and smudging it out because I'm about to go in with a liquid eyeliner and I find that applying a cream eyeliner first really helps the liquid eyeliner to glide on more smoothly and it just kind of paves the way for my liquid eyeliner. And now I'm going in with a gray liquid eyeliner by Cila. This was her own eyeliner, and I thought that the gray would be perfect, not as harsh as black. Even though I applied the black cream eyeliner, that's okay because obviously it's covered up. It just helped the liquid liner go on a little better. And I really take my time going back and forth creating a smooth line. And you'll notice that I do a pretty thick line. I think it complements her eye shape. And the gray with how soft it is makes it more manageable to do that rather than black. I think it would be a little too intense and too much if it were black. And now moving on to the lips. I'm first lining her lips. I find that that helps the lips stand out a little more, helps them look a little more alive and bigger. And it's just a good primer for your liquid lipstick or your lipstick or whatever you apply. So this liquid lipstick that I apply is by LipSense and it binds to your lip. It's a really long lasting lipstick, which she needs because she's about to sleep in her makeup. Up, so she needs this to last 24 hours and now some false lashes to really help her eyes pop these are my favorite they are by Ardell the Demi Wispies and they usually come in a pack of five so you can have them last a while I always go from above and just kind of drop down the lash and I first secure the center part of the lash. And once I know that's secure and everything's placed exactly where it should be, then I secure the outer part of the false lash. And then lastly, the inner part. Same thing on the other eye. And now to finish off everything, I like to smudge a little eyeliner on the lower lash line. I find that it helps balance out all that you got going on on the top. It'll just help her eyes pop a little more. So this is a little bit of that black cream eyeliner and I really take the time smudging it in with a brush. Now she's applying a little mascara. This will help her natural lashes blend in with the false lashes. So you don't obviously see that there's a separation. It'll just bind them all together. And now I'm curling her hair. She got it done at the dry bar yesterday, but it kind of fell out. So I said I would retouch it up and run my wand through it and really spray it it's because again, she's sleeping in her hair and makeup. She needs to look good tomorrow. So we got to recurl that hair for her TV debut. For her hair, I always curl away from her face and I try to leave an inch of hair out at the end. I find that this gives it more of a beachy wave and not as tight of a curl because I want it to look more tousled and beachy and very effortlessly. So I'm using a one, I believe this is a one and a half inch barrel. This is by the Sutra. This is a Sutra bombshell curling wand. I got it on Amazon and I find that it holds curls great. I love it. So after I curl everything, I spray it and then I gently comb through it with, with like a pick comb. I, you don't want a tight bristled brush because that's going to, it's just going to kind of wear away the curls. So we want it still very light and beachy looking. I find that you really can't spray it enough. I really want those curls to stay and not wear away, especially because she'll be sleeping in it. So this completes the makeup tutorial and hair tutorial. So I hope you guys found some tips and tricks that maybe you can take with you. And thank you, Kate, for letting me do your makeup. You sure look gorgeous, darling. Mwah! See you guys next time. Bye.